Responsive street furniture, which offers help to different people in different ways. People with sight loss can receive audio information about where they are, and people with low vision get extra lighting. A user of the system, once they've obtained their tag, uh, would visit the uh, website, select the services that they wanted the street furniture to give them. So if this tag uh, was owned by Sylvie, um, she might log onto the system and select extra places to sit brighter street lights and more time to cross, hit submit, and from then on, whenever she approached um, an item that could deliver one of these services, it would do so. Once the, the tag's been detected by um, street furniture, we can obviously program in different responses. So things like the monolith sign behind me, we can make the map light up if the user needs a bit more contrast to be able to see the information. We can play audio messages through the, the base of the monolith and also things like the street lighting, we can increase and decrease the lighting levels. So again, people get better tonal contrasts. The technology, in my opinion, can do so many different things in terms of providing information for me, taking information off me, and then based on my needs as a blind or partially sighted people, possibly give me a subtly different experience of the environment than it might do, say, someone who's deaf someone who, where English is not their first language. You know, a dream uh, of mine, and I'd say most blind and partially sighted people, is that, um, you know, I can travel independently and feel safe uh, wherever I'm travelling. And for marshals to be taking this seriously and to have even got some of the thinking to this stage is, is phenomenal for me.